Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. Um, as you know, it is now officially October and Halloween's right around the corner and so is Thanksgiving and Christmas. Anyway, fall time is my absolutely favorite time of the year just because it's the most beautiful season here in Alabama. And anyway guys, so I decided to film this makeup look right here. This is my absolutely favorite makeup look for fall. It's a very natural face with really dramatic eyes and this is my favorite lipstick color of all time at the moment. So I decided to film my favorite fall look for you. And if you are interested in how I got this look, stay tuned. Hey guys, so I already have my face makeup, my baking is going on, and my brows are done. So today I'm just going to show you how I do my eyes, contour, and lips all for this fall makeup look that we're going to do today. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to begin with my contour today. And for my contour for fall, I really want to go for that light contour. I don't want to go for a very chiseled face. So I'm going to use one of my favorite bronzers. It's a very, very light natural bronzer, and it's by Lancome. And this is their Star, Bronzel Na um, Star Bronzer Natural Glow. So I'm going to use my Sephora Kabuki brush, and I'm going to start chiseling out my cheeks. This bronzer just kind of warms up the face and that's what we're going for. And take this up into the hairline. Okay, and then I'm going to take this bronzer along my jawline just to define that jawline just a bit. You want this to be a very natural warmth to your face. Now that that's done, I'm going to take my Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to contour my nose. And I use these two shades just to give it a little bit more definition. So I'm going to take my Naked 2 brush on the flatter side, just take this along your nose. Get the tip. Make a bridge on the sides. Take the fluffier side and bring the color down into the divots of your nose. And then I'm going to take the fluffier side and I'm going to blend this out so it doesn't look as harsh. Okay, and now that my nose is nice and contoured, I'm going to move on to my eyes. And I thought about using my Mario Masterclass palette today, but how I normally create this look is with my Modern Renaissance palette. And this is honestly my favorite palette of all times, just because you can create so many different looks with this palette. And as you can see, I've loved it very much. So anyway, my bag is on my face, so I'm gonna use that to catch all the fallout, and we're gonna leave that on for now. To prime my eyes, I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay Eye Primer in Eden. I'm just going to place this all over my eye. My favorite eyeshadow brush right now is currently the Anastasia Beverly Hills Duo Eye Brush that comes with each one of their palettes. It is fantastic. The fluffier side's great for blending and the flatter side's just fantastic. So anyway, I'm going to take my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to begin going in with this warm tape color. I'm taking the fluffier side and I'm just going to blend this into my crease. With this eye look, blending is key. The eyes are gonna make the most statement of this look. Everything else is just gonna complement it. Now that that is nice and blended in our crease, we are going to start going in with a darker color. And this is Cypress Alumbra, Umbra, Cypress Umbra. And this is a very dark, rich, chocolatey brown. Okay, so I'm going to take the flatter side and I'm going to apply this all just in the middle of my lid. This color goes a long way. You don't need much. Once you got that in the middle of your lid, you're going to take your fluffier side and you're going to start slowly blending that out into your crease. Okay, 
If you feel like you need more, then get some more. And I'm gonna take this to the outers now. I want my outer corners to be the darkest part of this eye. And then we're gonna do the same thing and we're just gonna blend that up. Okay, and this eye look does not take long at all. It is literally just those two colors in a very good amount of blending. So, now that that is all over my eye, I am now going to start doing my lower lash line. So this is going to be a little difficult, but you're gonna take your flatter side and you're gonna dip that back into that cypress lumber color and you're gonna start just kind of swooping that on your lower lash line. And you wanna have a very light hand when doing this. And I'm gonna take my fluffier side and I'm just gonna to start to slowly smoke that out, okay? This is gonna be a very dramatic eye. And if you feel like it's blended enough, then voila, you are done. So now I'm gonna apply some mascara. The mascara I'll be using today is my Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. And you wanna apply this to your both top and bottom lashes and go pretty heavy on the bottom. And now you're probably wondering, did she even apply mascara? Yes, my lashes are super short. So the eyelashes I will be using today are by Coco's and these are in the style Bella's. These are just very nice flirty lashes and this is honestly one of my favorite styles for all our lashes and apply this and I'm gonna be using my Andriel Strip Lash Glue. This is my favorite glue just because it does, it's clear and it's, I just don't like putting white or black glue near my eyes after I've worked so hard on them. So I am a big believer in clear lash glue. So this is my favorite and you can get this at Walgreens for $6. Oh, let me wipe away that bake. Be careful not to smear your mascara. As you can tell, all that fallout that we had from using all those dark shadows are is no longer there. And that is one of my favorite tricks when applying eyeshadow. Translucent powder under your eyes before you apply it, wipe it away and it doesn't mess up any of your face makeup. It's fantastic. So anyway, we're gonna apply these lashes. Let me curl my lashes. I'm gonna apply a pretty generous amount of this glue. You want more of the glue on the ends than the middle, just because that tends to be where it comes up, and that's where your eye waters. And to apply this, you're just gonna look straight ahead Put the ends down first so they dry. And then I work my way to the middle. And then. And that is the finished eye look. See, it's very, very, just very dramatic. Lots of browns, lots of fallish vibes there. So now we're gonna move on to the rest of our face and we don't have much to do. Okay, so first I'm gonna do my glow. And my glow, I'm going to be using a liquid base today. And this is gonna be the Lumi L'Oreal um, Liquid Glow Illuminizer. And this is in Golden Gore. And I will say, if you're very pale, this is not the one for you. But I'm gonna attempt it. And this requires a lot of blending, so just be very, very careful. It's pretty blended. I am going to choose my glow today. And today, I'm going to be using my Sweets Glow Kit, and this is my Glow Kit Soulmate. And I'm going to be using this color Butterscotch. I'm gonna keep it very, very neutral today. Lots of browns, lots of natural colors besides the eyes okay so anyway i am going to take my sephora airbrush pro pro brush pro i always do that okay and then i'm just going to take a little bit and i'm going to place this on my cheeks are we glowing Anyway, 
So I'm going to be using my favorite blush today, and I'm going to be using Doll Face. And this is the pinkiest pink in this um, Tartlet blush palette. It was in their holiday collection last year, and I use this on the daily. I'm just going to be taking my Revlon blush brush, and I'm going to be dipping this in there. And I... I really, really like going for a pink blush. I lean towards pink blushes more just because I feel like it complements my blonde hair more. And I know this isn't really a natural color, but this is my favorite everyday blush I normally go for. So you're just going to go in swirling motions on the apples of your cheeks. Today I'm going to be using my absolutely favorite color. I have literally been wearing it like every day for the past like month and this is by Jouer and this is Tawny Rose. It is just the most beautiful color and the it just goes on not splotchy and it feels like you're not wearing anything. I literally apply this once in the morning and I don't even have to do a touch up if I don't want to. So I'm going to be applying this today as my favorite fall lipstick color. When applying lipstick, you just want to follow the natural shape of your lips. You don't want to go and try and make your lips bigger. Just accept your natural lips and go along the shape of them. Only suggestion is to make your lips appear bigger. Make sure you exaggerate your cupid's bow and make it and make it have that nice point. And that will give you a nice exaggerated big lips. Okay, so this is my face. And I'm just going to set this with my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And this will make it stay all day. Okay guys, and this is the finished look. And this is my favorite fall makeup look. I'll give you a close up on the eyes and face. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. You can follow me on Instagram and Wells as Snapchat. On Snapchat, it's Abby B. And on Instagram, it's Abby and then an underscore B. You can see all my makeup looks and all of my makeup clients. And anyway, guys, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And happy fall, y'all.